We have some great ideas in this video. Of course, if you put together anything in the world of After Effects, you put putting together a motion graphic sequence, a promo video, whatever, you're gonna be responsible for the background. So we're gonna be exploring four different background techniques that you can put together for your compositions. You can use one or all these techniques, it doesn't matter. We're gonna be building out a full background with these four techniques. So before we jump into our tutorial, if you have not already, smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to do so at this time because we post plenty of content. So let's jump in the tutorial and let's get started. All right, technique one, we're gonna create some squiggly animated lines. All right, so we're gonna start off with solid background and just a simple title animation from our 100 title pack right here. So what we're gonna do is create a squiggle line. We're gonna grab the pen tool here at the top, okay? We're gonna click on the word fill, make sure it's the none and you click okay. Click on the word stroke, set that to solid color and click okay. And then you can change your stroke width or change your color to whatever you need it to be. We're gonna make sure nothing is selected in our timeline. And we're gonna click a point outside of our composition and we're simply gonna draw a random path uh, from one side of the composition to the other and the goal here is to create a random squiggle path like this Okay, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our shape layer that we created and we're gonna go to add and we're gonna add a trim paths All right, we'll open this trim paths up and we'll bring down the end percent and we'll make it set to like maybe 12% or so maybe a little bit less than that, okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a keyframe for offset and we're gonna move forward in time and we're going to increase the offset until this goes to the other side of our composition. So now you'll just have a line that goes by like that. You can adjust the keyframes by moving it out. So once again, line going like that, that's fine. Also what I like to do is open up the stroke window here and set this to a round cap from butt cap. So it'll be a nice round line. Okay, so since we're doing an animated background, we need this to be repeated. So we're gonna use one of our newer expressions that we use in our previous tutorial, and we're gonna all click the stopwatch for offset, okay? And we're gonna type in loop out, as a capital O, and you're gonna do open parenthesis, close parenthesis. So just that expression right there uh, on the offset keyframes. So now this will do its animation, and then it'll repeat itself continuously forever. So we don't have to worry about any keyframes, and we keep this looping. So that is awesome, right? So now we wanna be able to quickly create some duplicates. So what we're gonna do is take our shape layer, go up to edit, duplicate, and we'll open up the new duplicated layer. We'll go to contents, open up shape one, and we'll simply just delete the path, okay? Make sure you click on shape one again, go to add and just add a uh, path, which is right here. And we'll bring that path one above the trim paths, above everything, just as top of the stack here underneath shape one, okay? Then we grab the pen tool again, make sure path one is selected, and we'll do another random uh, line like this, make sure it goes outside your composition. And so now we'll have two lines, and that's how you can quickly create a duplicate line. So by duplicating our work, we're gonna have multiple lines in here, and what I suggest doing once you have several lines in here, just offset them in time, just by a few frames, so they don't all come in at the same exact time. Now it just seems a little bit more uh, random and consistent with how many lines we have in here animating. Technique two, we're gonna put two lines together and create a poppin' plus. To create a plus, what we're gonna do is grab the pen tool here at the top, and I'll just bring up title safes really quick. And simply, I'll just draw a straight line like this from the center, so hold down, create a point there, hold down shift, and do a line straight down like so, okay? And we can adjust the stroke width to fit, you know, whatever width we wanna have, and then we'll open up our shape layer, go in the contents, take our shape one, and we'll duplicate it by going up to edit, duplicate, and we'll grab either one of the shapes that we've done, go into the transform uh, shape two, for example, where it says rotation, we can rotate this by 90 degrees. So then we'll have a simple cross like that right in the center of our comp, and it's very easy. You can control double click the pan behind tool to make sure that anchor point is right in the center there. And now we have our plus, and then we'll do is hit R on the keyboard for rotation, come here to the beginning of our timeline, and we'll add a keyframe for rotation, We'll move forward by a little bit and we can just rotate this say by 90 degrees and then we'll just make these both easy ease keyframes by hitting f9 on our keyboard we can come here to our graph editor for fun and we can just draw uh drag out our vertices just by a little bit there so you get like a little bit of a nice subtle animation like that okay then we're gonna alt click the stopwatch for rotation and we're gonna type in loop out again and this time we're going to do uh, quotations inside the parentheses, right? And we're gonna type in cycle. <clears throat> so that's loop out, open parenthesis, quotation, cycle, 
quotation in close parenthesis. It'll just seem like it's constantly rotating and that is very cool. Then we can also hit S on our keyboard for scale and we'll add a keyframe for this. We'll move that keyframe forward in time and set the scale down to 0%. We'll make these both easy ease keyframes. And then we'll all click the stopwatch for scale and we'll type in loop out again. And this time we'll do quotations ping pong. Just like that. And so then you can take those layers and duplicate them around your composition and you'll have these really cool uh, rotations going around your composition uh, very nicely. And before we move further into our next technique, I want to show you our Motion Graphics Starter Pack extension. So this is our Accent Motion Graphics Starter Pack right here in extension and we have over 500 elements in here from titles, animated backgrounds, accent motion graphics, shape transitions. And we can preview every asset before we apply whatever we're looking for. So if we're looking for a title, we just find what we want, click apply. And then we have a full title animation in here. Then we can go into our title composition, change out our title, and then we'll come into our control layer and adjust the title as we see fit and easily change colors and any updates that we need to our title. And we have a full title animation done within a few clicks of a button. We also have plenty of animated backgrounds already in here that you can easily apply with click of a button as well with different categories and many different accent motion graphics that we can add just to help spruce up our composition with the click of a button. So if you wanna get work done incredibly fast and produce awesome work, you can check out any of the packs off our website. I will link them below. If you do pick up anything on our website, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. Technique number three, we're gonna create an animated circle. All right, so what we're gonna do is come here to the top and we're gonna grab the ellipse tool. And we'll make sure nothing is selected and we'll draw a perfect circle like this. And we can increase the stroke width here, okay? And we'll control double click the pan behind tool here at the top so that anchor point will be in the center. And we'll go to add and we'll add a trim paths again. And we'll open trim paths and we'll just go ahead and bring this down by, by like a little bit. And we'll go back to the lips one, we'll come here to the stroke one and we'll set this to a round cap. Okay, awesome. So then what we can do is take the shape layer here and we can duplicate it. And we'll open this up, go back into the uh, trim paths one and we can simply just offset by a little bit and then increase the start percent you know to where we're just gonna have like this little dot right here like a little point i'll do like 58 percent so you see it's like one percent difference and then we can just offset it to put it in place like i say right there and then once again we can duplicate this we do create another offset you know maybe make this a little bit thicker and you know there's that right so pretty cool concept so then what we could do is take all three of these shape layers uh and we can pre-compose it call it circle and simply what we do is hit R on the keyboard for rotation, alt click the stopwatch and type in time, asterisk, say 50 or 100, depending on how fast you want this to be. And this will just rotate like this. Then what we can do is hit S on the keyboard for scale. We'll scale this up. You know, you can check on the rasterize icon right here so you keep all fidelity. And then we can duplicate this and we can scale it down. We can also go up to effect, distort, and we can grab, say, a transform and we can just rotate this in another direction um, and then you can also go back into that original expression and do like a negative in front of uh, that number so it'll go in the opposite direction so you'll get something like this and that's really cool so i'm just going to stick with the one big circle here and now we have a little bit of a nice background animation going on here and technique four we're going to frame it all right so for our last technique we're going to simply create like a little frame like this it's super easy to do this what we're going to do is take all of our elements that we've already created and we're just going to pre-compose it and we'll just call it background. Okay. And then we'll go up to layer new solid and we'll select any color that we want from here. Click OK and we'll create a new solid. We'll make sure this is underneath our uh, previous composition and on our, comp our background composition that we just pre-composed. Make sure that's selected. Just hit Astron keyboard for scale. Move forward in time, you know, by a little bit and we'll add a keyframe for this. And we'll move forward by a little bit and we can scale this down. Okay, then we'll select both keyframes, make them easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. We'll go to that graph editor and we'll select our vertices here and we'll just simply drag out these points. And I went ahead and put my title on top of everything. So then just the background will animate and this will give us an extra uh, perspective to our background. And you see when we zoom out, all the graphics get cut off on the edges there. Um, and just adds another detail of color to everything. It just looks really nice if we have like a simple graphic or a title in this case. So a lot of cool techniques all brought together just to help build out uh, this composition, which is super nice.
<clears throat> so hopefully you thought these were some really cool ideas that you can use in your projects. If you did find them helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creative.